Thing. Have you ever read those stories where when somebody saves your life and you feel this connection with these people, it's like it's, it's, it was fate that you two were meant to meet in such mm. a way. Mm. Like a soul tie almost. Sure, yes. What a connection. I would not mm. be breathing if it wasn't for you. Oh. Yeah. Mm. This person saved your life. Mm-hmm. And you feel like this 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 deep 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 connection sometimes people even fall in love mm. with the person that saved their life true story mm. sure true story so i'm calling a paramedic today okay this guy <laughs> did a recess on a guy he was called out um this man had an asthma attack so his girlfriend literally gave me all the details the paramedic's girlfriend mm. um so he was called out Went, resuscitated the guy. The guy had an asthma attack. The guy was dead. Wow. Sure. Sure. Asthma, that bad? Yeah, yeah. Chronic asthma is bad. Uh, Pumped the guy, brought the guy back, right? And um, his girlfriend says that, you know, I'm sure as a paramedic, you have those ones that you always remember. Mm -hmm. So it seemed like he felt that connection, that cosmic connection with this guy too, mm. because he's always, you know, like he said, the cool bra story. You know, this guy got called out, he was yeah. dead and he had asthma and took it and I brought, brought him, him back. I brought him from the brink, yeah? I brought him back, yeah. Mm-hmm. What a story. So now I'm going to be the guy that had the asthma attack and got recessed. Your life was saved. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I'm just going to give him a call because I'm sure they never see these people again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, you'll always sit there and wonder, what happened to that guy? You know, well... <laughs> The guy's back. (laughs) Ding, ding. Here I am. Hello? Hello, is that Mr. Was? Yeah. Speaking? It's Peter Stradham here. Yes? I've been trying to get hold of you. I I just wanted to say thank you. Okay. You saved my life two months ago. When was this? You were called out to, to my plot in Gumroad. Uh, we're in Gum Road. Yes, my, my, my plot there. I had a, an asthma attack and you had to revive me. Oh, I remember. Oh. I should get in goosebumps now. You, you, you saved my life, so. Wow. Yeah, two weeks. Thank you very much. Yeah, two weeks after that, I came out of hospital fighting fit. Sure. Yeah, that's, that's very, very nice to hear. I, I just feel like we had a very special moment. Yeah, let me let me say that was something else. <laughs> no, you see, that's actually uh, you know what makes it better. It's just a year from you. That's mm. that makes it worth it. Yeah. Look, well, well, what is your address? It's uh, my address. You know, the fourth. Okay, because I just wanted to send you some flowers. Okay, no problem. You see, I would much appreciate that. I was thinking Aww. like some very pretty red roses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fine. You know, the, the the one thing that has stuck with me through the whole time is that you you smelt <laughs> so good. <laughs> A- amazing, uh. amazing. <laughs> and you had like this. Um, I'll never forget. It was like... Freshly eaten hamburger breath. It was beautiful. <laughs> Hello? Are you there? Mm, sorry, sorry, can't hear you? <laughs> sorry, I, I, I thought for a minute that, that you might be in a coma there. And, and I'd have to give you mouth to mouth. <laughs> I would really, I guess what I'm trying to say is, is that I would really like to see you again, seeing as though we shared such an intimate moment and, and perhaps uh, go out on a second date. What? <laughs> <laughs> second. Mm, sorry, sorry, I can't hear you. Saying, I need to see you again. I'd love to go out on a second date. No, no, because I'm married and happily married. Okay, but I just feel so connected to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm very glad to hear that, but <laughs> no, it's not going to happen, but... 
Um, the fact that you actually gave me breath. Now, well, the irony is, is that you actually take my breath away. Yeah, well, I'm glad to hear that, but it's not going to happen. Sorry. Thank you for phoning. Well, if that's the way you're going to be, I would just rather you have just let me die. Because now you've actually caused me more pain than the pain that I was in. Well, it's not my job, you know. But, yeah, thank you for phoning. Because, you know what, Kukon, I, I really need to be with you. No. Thank you very much for okay. phoning. Okay. Hello? Sorry, did I, uh, did I come on too strong there? Yes, because I said to you I'm, I'm happily married. Yeah, I know. But, you know, they, they say there's only, you only find your one true love once. <laughs> My wife finds me, and I find her, and I'm, mm -hmm. very, I'm very happy with that. And I would, would me, much appreciate if you don't find me again then, okay? Okay, well, if you're going to be like that, then I'm just going to hold my breath until I die. <laughs> okay, no, that's good. Because then I'll just come out to help you again. But that's it. Please don't find me again. <laughs> How long does this usually take? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hi, Gerard. It's, it's yes. Peter. Hi, it's Peter. Okay, that's not going to happen. Sorry. Gerard, if you're not going to be with me, I promise you I'm going to hold my breath until I die. No, 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 no. I'm getting very upset with you now. <gasps> <laughs> Hello? 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 <laughs> yeah? Come save me. Come save me. I need math to math. No, there's no chance. I'm married and I'm happy. Yeah, but Please don't find me again. Be with your wife. She find us. But I want you to be my wife. No, you can decide what you want. I'm married and I'm happy. Please don't find this number again. I'm going to hold my breath again. Go do it. <gasps> I don't... Are you there? Take, take another one. Take another one. <sighs> Give me the CPR no. without the bag valve mask. No. Come on, I want to feel your lips. No, you know, you can go feel someone else's lips, okay? Come save me. Don't find, don't find me again. Gerard? Okay. Gerard? No, I don't care what you say. Don't find me again. I'll hold my breath again. Okay, do it. Bye. <gasps> Gerard, guess who's speaking? No, no idea. It's Wackhead Simpson, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jeez, um, yes, I tried it all my cool there. Yes. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, oh, whatever. Is. <laughs> sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Salute to all the people that save our lives. Oh, what Medics. a nice guy are too good and too pure for this earth. They are amazing eh? people. They are amazing people. <laughs> oh, man. He was still concerned about your life. He was, he was. He was <laughs> conflicted there, you could tell. Should yeah. I tell this guy to hold his breath or not? <laughs> but those connections are real, let me tell you. They're very real. Clearly. KFM 94.5.